This is just a quick video to show how I've been playing Memoir 44 as a solo game rather than two players. Now there's no official solo rules for Memoir 44 so I've kind of cobbled and botched together three or four different uh, solo rules that I've seen on the internet for one that works for me. So I don't know if this will work for you but it works for me and that's what matters. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. I won't run through all the rules up front again. I'll show you the rules as I'm playing it. This is one of the scenarios that are in the book. This is scenario two, I think. And you'll notice that there are significantly more Axis players than uh, good guys. So uh, how do we fix that? Well, we're going to have to uh, parachute in some extra guys. How do we do that? As the book says, take four of the uh, allied figures and drop them on the board. And they are going to be units. So this guy, he can't, he did kind of land outside the board, but <clears throat> we'll just say that never happened. And I then add three to make him a unit. This guy landed here, three make him a unit, this guy landed with his head in a village so uh, I'm going to count that, and the fourth guy has bounced, oh there he is, unfortunately bounced into uh, right next to some bad guys. So, now we're set up, ready to go. Right, again, as I say, I won't go through all the rules, but the basics of the dice are that if you roll a soldier icon, then you've hit one soldier. If you roll a die, a grenade, then you've hit whatever it is, whether it be a tank, a person, or uh, some artillery. Tank icon, surprise, you hit a tank. And a flag icon means that the other side will retreat a space or more. So if you rolled it and got, um, you know, two flags, that means they must retreat two spaces. But I'll show you that as we get to it. Right, so because it's set in the scenario, we get five cards. So we'll take the first five cards. One, two, three, four, Five, and they are going to be our cards. The Axis, or the Germans, the blue guys, they get four cards. One, two, three, four. Now, the way I've been doing the solo thing is, I never see their hand. I do not know what's in there, and I never will. Until we have to draw a card. Again, I'm trying to limit it so that I don't make decisions on what card to choose and that kind of thing because I want to keep it as unbiased as possible so I've done the setup and it's now our turn I won't explain again all the different types of um, landscape when we get to it I'll let you know I don't know if you'll see it but the board is divided into three sections. There's a red line runs up here, all the way up the board, and there's a red line runs all the way up the board there. And that's the left, middle and right. And on the cards, some of them will have just a message that that's what you're going to do. Some of them will have an actual, say that three in the left in this case, three in the left there, and one in each left, middle and right. So we pick one of these cards and that's what we're going to do. We're either, in this one, for the direct from HQ, we've got two of those, uh, we issue an order to four units of your choice. So we could pick any four units of ours on the board to move, then fire. This one we would have three, but they must be in the left. I've only got these two in the left. Same again. 
This one is one in each, so we could pick one in each section to use. So, hmm, we can pick those two guys to do something or one in each. Failing that, we pick four units of our choice. So, I'm thinking that we pick four of our choice because I'm thinking these guys can get shot at from these guys. The closer you are, the more dice you're going to get to roll, but things like terrain will reduce the amount of dice you get to roll. Um, we could use those guys to fire on those guys. Most of the other Germans up there are way out of reach. These guys could fire on these guys though, which is good. These guys are kind of in a defensive position on this hill. So if the Germans were to fire there, they're kind of defended. These guys could move and make a good start and bumping these guys off, I suppose. Hmm, I don't know, we could just use one in each then in that case. These guys could move up, shoot for these guys, one of these two. These guys could shoot for these guys, these guys could maybe move up there to get all defensive like. Um, yeah, let's go for one in each. Let's use this card up. So, we're going to move these guys to here. Puts them kind of in danger, but it means they're getting closer. So, I'm going to use these little purple counter things, because otherwise I will forget. If you've seen my other videos, yeah, you'll know. So, these guys have moved, but they still need to fire. You've got to do all the movements first. These guys don't need to move, but they will fire. And these guys are not going to fire. They're just going to go... Uh, nearly screwed up already. Um, to move into a hedgerow, you need to go adjacent first, then move in. I nearly went straight in there. That would have been bad. That would have been very bad. So, what I'm going to do is just move them adjacent and not fire. So, all good. So, these guys, you've got to declare who's going to fire on who. So these guys are going to fire on these guys. Right, because they're right next to each other. You get three dice. Uh, you get three dice if they're there. If I was going to fire on these guys, it would be three, two dice. If I was going to fire on someone here, it would be 3, 2, 1 dice. So, 3 dice on these guys. See what we get. We got 1 grenade and 2 flags. Which is very good in this case. Because it means we've bumped one guy off. He's gone. They need to retreat 2 spaces. But they cannot retreat because of these two guys here. So in that case, they lose another two. Because they can't retreat. So, we've done that fire. And it's done. And now, these guys are going to fire in these guys. And it would be three dice. But, because these guys are in a building... It's two dice, so we only get two dice on these guys. So, oops, hey, and we get two. Two soldier icons, so we bump two of them off. As such. Beautiful. And that is basically it for us. So, we draw a card to replace the one we used. And we've got one in the left. Right, now it's the turn of the Axis, the blue guys. 
Uh, I'll no doubt end up alternating between Axis, Bad Guys, Germans or whatever, but it's all the same. Right, it's their turn, and they've got four cards. I have no idea what the four cards are, and some methods you randomly pick one, some methods you look at their cards and you choose the best one, and so on and so on and so on. What I usually do is just mix them up as best I can, four cards, and I'll roll a dice to pick one of those four cards. Card four. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. Card four is the last one. So this is the card they're going to play. So they've got three on the left. They're going to play three on the left. It's now my job to make sure that those three on the left move towards us or take defensive positions or fire at us or all of the above. So inevitably th these guys here are of course going to fire on these guys and these guys are inevitably going to move and then fire on these guys. More than likely this one lone guy is going to be very very annoyed that I bumped off his three pals so he is probably also going to fire on them. And they are all going to get three dice each on this group. So that to me seems like a logical decision that somebody would make that they're just going to gang up on these guys and wipe them out. So these guys are going to fire on these guys with three dice. You get a grenade and a person, so that's two guys gone of mine. The star means absolutely nothing. So, this one guy, lone guy, very annoyed, very upset about this whole thing. He gets two hits also and a star. So, that means both these guys are gone. The last guy becomes that uh, medal. He becomes a medal. And in this particular scenario you get four medals and you win. So the opposition have got a medal already. These guys have got nobody to fire on so they're, that's it. They're there. You can't suddenly decide you want to move again. Your side's done. So Germans got their card done. They now get another card and again, mix them up just random, any old way. Done. That's it. So it's back to me again. So, I've now got to pick a card. Um, again, I've got the two, four of my choice. Three in the left, three in the left, one in the left. So everything's in the left for these three cards. So I'm as well picking uh, four of my choice. So we'll go for four of my choice. So let's see. Who are we going to pick here? We're obviously going to want revenge on these guys, but eh, it's going to have to wait. We could use these guys to fire on these guys, but we're going to get three, two, one dice. Mm, not the greatest of odds. Uh, we can fire on these guys again, maybe. Uh, these guys could fire on these guys. Um, feeling that we could move some people. So what we could do is we could move these guys into there for a bit of defence. Uh, we don't want everybody just kind of out in the open, just getting absolutely walloped. Um, let's see. We're definitely going to take a pot shot at these guys, I would say. We may as well. Uh, so, this is going to be one. So, they're going to fire. Let's move these guys up. They're also going to fire on those guys. Uh, let's see. We can move one and fire, or we can move two and not fire. Uh, so, let's see. I'm thinking that we move 
thinking we move these guys here or these guys into here the reason being that this hex is right smack bang in the middle of that red line that divides left and right so whatever is in here is either left or right it's your choice and I have got a whole ton of on the left cards so I'm thinking that one of these two guys should move in here uh, if we move these guys into here and stop that makes them nice and defended and all that sort of stuff these guys are effectively hiding behind that forest because you've got to do a line of sight if the Germans got to here they couldn't see these guys and let's see let's move let's move these guys into this hedgerow because if these guys move down at least they're getting a bit of defence in there right so that's two moves done the, this one moved they're not going to move but these guys are both going to fire on these guys so should be three dice they're in a town so we get two dice so two dice on them whoops one guy gone the other one's nothing so one guy gone they've had their turn these guys are also going to fire on the last guy that's left see if they can get him and they get two two grenades so they get two so this guy becomes our first medal uh, there's six medal sections I've got them covered with the cards as I say first person to four wins the game right so I shall put my other card oh, this guy's just stolen my space right there we go so we've now got new card two in the right so it's their turn oh one thing though nearly forgot when you kill off a unit that's adjacent to you you can take their ground so these guys bumped off that last guy they can take his ground because they were adjacent right so again axis turn four cards roll dice one so top card is what they're gonna play the finest hour roll one battle dice for each command card that you have including this card so they would get four dice and for each unit symbol rolled one unit of this type is ordered and for each star one unit of your choice right so yeah uh, this is one of these cards where it's all complicated so they get to roll is yeah, so they get to move one unit one infantry unit one tank unit and another two units of their choice now they can't really move the tanks because the tanks are way up here hemmed in with these four units so the only way to move the tanks is to move those guys mm. yeah so they're gonna have to move at least one of those guys so let's say they move one unit these guys and into there for defense and the tanks can then move mm, let's see where would the tanks move uh, Hmm, I'm not sure if the tanks can actually just trundle right through the forest. Uh, I believe they can. Uh, but I'll have to double check on that. Right, from what I can gather, 
the tanks can enter the forest but they must stop and that's the end of their turn. So we're going to move the tanks to here, they're going to stop, that's their tank movement so they can still order another two units. So I would reckon they're going to move probably these guys to here so they can open fire on these guys and the same on this side they're going to move these guys so they can open fire on these guys. So two lots of firing. Normally it would be two dice for here but these guys are in the hedge row so it's only one dice. So one dice onto these guys and they get a retreat. So we must retreat back one space towards us. So they've either got to go here or here. So let's go here. And these guys are going to fire on these guys. Same again. Should be two dice. But they're on a hill. So it'll be one dice. And they get one. So they get one hit. So, that is the German turn, they get another card, and again, I just randomly mix them up. And that's what I do. Now what are we going to do? We'll get two cards for three in the left, we've got another card for any four units, two in the right, which we only have one in the right, or one in the left which we have one in the left, we could make it two in the left. These guys are either way. So let's go for one in the left. Go for one in the left. These guys, they're going to stay there because they're in a defensive position. They're going to fire on these guys. So that'll be two dice on those guys. And we got one hit. So one hit on those guys. And we get a new card which is all on the right, which is not really that great to us, but eh, we'll take it. So again, four cards, roll the dice, three, third card. Germans are going to play Medics and Mechanics. Issue an order to one unit that has suffered casualties. Roll one battle dice for each command card you have, including this card, so they're going to get all four dice and for each die matching the unit symbol which in this case would be probably this guy for a unit so for every unit that we get for every infantry unit rather we get on a dice and a star then we can restore a figure to here so we want this guy to get four tanks or something crazy like that so that he gets nothing because we're like that. And of course, he gets three and a flag. So he gets three people restored. So let me find uh, three people to send in, miraculously. There we go. Yeah, you can have your friends back, fine. Be like that. And... Uh, Obviously, if he had rolled four figures, you can't have five in a unit, so it would just be four and that'd be it. So, yeah. Lucky so-and-so. I never have luck like that. So, they get another card again. Again, mix them all up. And back to us. So, all on the right is pretty useless, because we've only got that one guy. Uh, three units in the left is uh, maybe we've got two. Two in the right we could use, but again we only have one, or we have four of our choice. So it's going to have to be four of our choice. Um, it's going to have to be four of our choice. So we want to be bumping these guys off good and quick. So, again, these guys are going to stay here, but 
they're going to fire on these guys again. So that's one. They're going to fire. I'm thinking these guys go back into the hedgerow again and fire. So they're going to fire on them. I'm just going to double check though about hedgerows. I've got a horrible feeling that you can't fire when you go in. Yeah, when you move in there, you can't battle. So, no, no, no. Um, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because it would mean we wouldn't be able to shoot anybody. And I'd really rather start shooting some some Germans at this point. Um, let's move to here to put them in our line of sight. And we'll fire on them from there. And these guys are going to move to here. And they're also going to fire on them. Because we can. And last but not least, nothing really to shoot at. So we'll move these guys into here where they can hide in the trees. Sounds like a plan. Right. These guys on these guys. Two dice. One. So we get one guy. And these guys on these guys, which is three to one dice. So we one. Nothing. Not a sausage. And these guys are going to fire on them, which is two dice. And we get a one hit and a retreat. So. One guy goes, and they are going to have to move back. Now, they can move back, but I would have reckoned they would move back into the trees, where they would get protection. So, I think that is us. And we get a replacement guard, which is much better. And the opposition... They will, whoops, go for card four. Oops, card four, last card, which is pincer move. Two in the left and two in the right. Ah, oh, they're getting better cards than me. Uh, right. So these guys are no doubt going to move to here, and then fire on us. Uh, these guys would inevitably move closer. And take a pot shot, no doubt. And on the right, I'm a, I would have to assume that they would bring out the tanks, which can move three spaces. But I'm assuming they would move one, two, three, so that they could fire on these guys. Uh, these guys, I'm assuming, would come out as well. To there. Mm. Because at least they've got a shot at us. The idea of taking a shot at somebody is that you draw a line from the middle of the hex to the middle of the other hex. So if I went from here up to here, because I've went through that hedgerow or even just touched it, that's that blocks line of sight, so that's a no-go. Uh, so these guys here would see us. So they would get to take a shot at us, which is inevitable. Uh, so these guys are going to fire. These guys are going to fire. Right, so these guys are going to fire on here. That's going to be uh, three, two, one. But, aha, uh -huh, 3, 2, 1, but they get one less dice because you're on a hill, so that's 0. So even though they've moved in, tough titty, can't fire. Right, these guys, they get 3, but we're on a hill, so it's 2. 
Today's way is one and a retreat. So they take one guy and we have to retreat. Now because we've left that space, sandbags, they go and don't return. Uh, the tanks, they can fire up to three hexes and they get three dice no matter what. Now as far as I'm aware, when you just skim past the edge of there, that's okay. As far as I'm aware. So I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure that's okay. So, three dice from the tank. And they get one uh, infantry, one grenade, so that's two hits. Two hits on us. Gone. And these guys are going to take a shot at these guys. That'll be three to one dice. And nothing. Oops. Nothing for them. So, Germans get another card. And again, mix them up. Just for the hell of it. Mix them up doesn't really do anything. It doesn't make things any fairer, I suppose. But I just do it. What the hell. For us, let's see. We've got two in the right, which is not much good. One in each, we've got three in the left, three in the left, or all in the right. So it's kind of one in each, I suppose. Uh, right. One in each, let's see. Uh, let's move these guys back to there for defence. And they stay there. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I would reckon these guys and these guys are going to fire on those tanks. So let's see what we get. These guys are going to fire, so it'll be two there and two for those guys as well. Two dice each. And we'll need it to show tanks. Yay, one tank. But the grenade counts as anybody, everything. So that's another hit. So that's two hits. Two tanks. Gone. Right. These two guys are going to fire on the last tank. And they get a grenade, which counts as a hit. So, tanks are gone. Beautiful. That is good news. For us. Replacement card is all in the middle. Whoops. That last tank becomes our trophy. I almost forgot. Whew. Right, while well, we do this time. We have all in the middle, which is looking pretty good. Three in the left and three in the left is looking not so great. We've only got two. All in the right is pretty hopeless because there's only one unit. And two in the right is also pretty hopeless. So it's going to have to be all in the middle. So we're going to go for all in the middle. To move. Or do things. Um, right. Let's see. We can move. We can move these guys up towards here. I'm thinking move them to there, they would still get a pot shot at these guys. So let's move those guys to there, and they're going to take a shot. Um, these guys in the building are going to take a shot at these guys. It's not much, but no, it's pointless. Because it would be 3, 2, 1, minus a dice for that would be 0. So, nah, that's pretty hopeless. Cancel that idea. Hmm. Even if we move them to there, it would be the same. We would have to actually move them out the houses. Hmm, nah, I don't fancy that idea. Hmm. Damn it. Because we could leave these guys where they are. Again, but that means we're not getting anywhere because we're just be defensive and do nothing. 
Um, let's move these guys anyway to here. That's two. At least they're not as easily in line of sight. Uh, so these guys, let's move these guys to here, which then puts them into the left side, so we can start to use the left card, left side cards. Still get these three units here. Do we move them out of safety? Do we not? We could move them out. Take some pot shots and maybe go back. Hmm. Yeah, let's move these guys to here and take a pot shot at these guys, which would mean they only get uh, three, two, one. So they would get two. They've got one dice from these guys. So we'll give it a try. Could be a bad move, but we'll give it a go. So these guys are going to fire, and that's pretty much it. No point in moving these guys out, there's nowhere to go, nowhere to shoot. Wait till the Germans come to us, maybe, hopefully. Hmm. Right, let's do it. So we're going to go from these guys to these guys. 3, 2, 1, dice. And there's one hit. Lovely. And these guys to the guys in the trees. That would be three, two, but they're on the trees, so we get one. One dice on them. Oh, flag. So they've got to retreat. So they're going to have to move back, either to there or to there. I would have to say it would be there, which is safer. Yeah. That's all we can do. Replacement card. Move out. And to the enemy. Again, they are going to choose card one, which is move out, which we just got. Issue an order to four infantry units. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, four units basically of your choice. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So these guys are definitely going to fire on these guys. That would be without a doubt. Uh, let's see. These guys are no doubt going to move to here and fire either here or here. And hmm, who else would move? Probably these guys would move to also take a pot shot at them. That's three. And the fourth, we'll say, mm, we'll say, mm, we'll say these other guys are going to move from here to here. Still be defensive. Mm, nah, they wouldn't do that because that would put them closer to us, which would be bad for them. So I would reckon must be these guys are going to move to there, maybe. Yeah, right. So that's there for. <coughs> so these guys are going to fire on these guys. Would be three dice, but we're on the hill, so it's two dice. And they get a flag, so we have to retreat. So we are going to retreat back to here. Uh, yeah, that was those guys. These guys, they know. Can they? Three, two, one. Yeah, they can fire. Yeah, because that wouldn't touch that hex. So yeah, they can fire on us. Three, two, one. One dice. And the dirty lucky so and so's. <sighs> right. And lastly, these guys are going to fire on these guys. So that will be two dice. One. 
one hit. They get one hit on us. Typical. And they get a fourth card. Right, for us, since we've got three in the left, I'm thinking we use a three in the left. If we keep these guys where they are, they can still fire on these guys. These guys move up. They can also fire on these guys. And this guy... Mm, I don't think... Just having a look. Yeah, so this guy can move onto there and still fire. So I reckon he fires on these guys as well. Because that's three dice. They're going to get one dice. They're going to get one dice. So, this guy. Hopefully he's a good sharpshooter. Uh, not really. But it's better than nothing. Uh, it kind of messes up the rest of the plan right enough. So he hits one. But the other guy must retreat. So he's obviously going to retreat there where it's safer. Which screws up the firing for these two guys. Good job, but bad job. Hmm. Oh well. Right. Another card. Probe. Oh well, it's the exact same as that card. And to the opposition. Whoops. The opposition will be two. So, card two. They're going to play Armour Assault. Four armour units. Blah blah blah. If you do not command any armour units, one unit of your choice. So, one unit of their choice. One that's going to do the most damage, you'd have to assume. Um, it would have to be these guys moving to here to get three dice from these guys. I would think that would be the best option. And they get two hits. So, one lone guy. Right. And another card for them. Right. Uh, one thing I did notice is that these two probe cards are actually slightly different. Both are probe, but two in the middle, two in the right. So, I need to watch that. Uh, move out. What does move out do? Uh, four infantry units. Yeah, basically four infantry units of our choice. Failing that we go three on the left, all on the right. Hmm. Um Hmm. I was thinking two in the middle, try and move some of these guys to the right. Maybe move these guys to the left. Um, hmm. But then we could use three in the left to use these guys to attack them. Only thing is, these guys are too far away. So it'd have to be that guy. He's the only guy who can really fire. So, yeah. Hmm. It's not the best option. Uh, we could go, let's do two in the right, because we can have this guy fire on them, they move up and also fire on them, and hopefully wipe them out. Yeah, okay, let's go for two in the right. Two in the right it is. So these guys are going to move to there, and fire on them, he's also going to fire on them. Three dice each, surely we can do some damage with three dice each. Come on. Two hits. Perfect. And the other guys. Same again. Three dice. And one hit. So yes, we eliminate that unit. And this guy becomes our trophy. Number three. 
So one more unit eliminated and we win. Right. Replacement card to us is Close Assault. And for the bad guys, they're going to use card number three. Card number three. Which is one in the right. So they're going to go over one in the right. Now, the unique thing about this one is when drawing the next card for them, we draw two and we choose the best one. But I'm still going to randomise it into the deck. Or, uh, so they get one on the right. Mm, let's see. Well, I have to think these guys would move out to their line of sight on these guys. Because these guys can't fire across there. I don't think. They may, but... Uh, Cutting it fine. Oh, it's a bit iffy in the rules that one. Uh, but we'll go for these guys. And they're going to fire on these guys. So two dice on them. And one hit. So one gone. And replacement card. Oh wait. We get to take two cards. Look at both. And see which one's the best. Order to artillery units, well, that one's pretty hopeless. So we ditch that card and we're going to keep the infantry units one. And again, put that in, mix it up. Right. So, what are we going to pick? We've got Close Assault. The Close Assault is issue an order to all infantry adjacent to enemy units. Uh, nope, we're not adjacent to anybody. Not even close. Two in the middle, three in the left, all on the right, or uh, four units of our choice. Um, we could certainly move some of these guys up, maybe. Kind of going for the kill and all that. Um, I don't want this guy to suddenly turn to be a sniper though and get us if we go in here. Um, hmm. But that would be a waste of three in the left. Because this guy could shoot them, I suppose, but these guys would just have to move. Hmm. All on the right is pretty hopeless. Uh, two in the middle we could probably use. We could probably do these guys into the trees to shoot these guys later, hoping that these guys don't activate and shoot us in the trees. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Or we could go for four units. But we're kind of scattered. I've kind of gone and scattered everybody, uh, which probably wasn't a good idea. Um, let's see. What we'll do is we'll go for uh, two in the middle. Two in the middle. We'll move these guys to here, which puts them inside of these guys, so we can aim for there. Uh, that will be two dice. And we'll move this guy up. And he can fire on them. So what the hell, we'll go for it. These guys, two dice on these. Chaps over here. And they got one hit. So let's see if this chap can do any better. Two dice on them. Yes indeed. He is a sharpshooter. He wins a prize. And we win a prize because we have four, four medals, so we win that game. Uh, and that's, that's basically how you play Memoir 44, solo. Uh, it's not a perfect system, but to me, it does work quite well. Uh, if you've got any comments, 
let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas to add to the, this whole idea of a solo player then let me know in the comments so hope you enjoyed this and I'll probably do another game of this just to show how it works again <laughs>